Welcome back to Lock Harbour Astro and on this particular video is uh, a wee bit of an update on the on the generalized hyperbolic stretch of GHS and I've recently seen um, a video by another YouTuber uh, that uh, had quite an interesting technique with this that's a quick and easy technique um, and just enhances what uh, the STS stretch already does. Um, saves a wee bit of time but allows you to bring out a little bit more of the uh, detail within an image. So I thought I'd just put together a short video and just demonstrate this to you. So without further ado, um, you can see that uh, up on the screen in front of me I've got uh, NGC 7822, the cosmic question mark. And what I've done with this so far is um, it's had a dynamic crop. It's uh, I've gone through automatic background extraction, um, background neutralization and SPCC. Uh, after that, I then binned times two just to bring the size down a wee bit. So it makes, makes it a bit easier for my old PC to work with and then I've done a, a blur exterminator on it just to bring the stars down a wee bit um, and that's where we are so um, what I intend to do now is uh, it was still in the linear phase you can see there's the green line um, over on the left hand side here just to ind indicate we're still in the linear phase on this particular image and if I turn off the STF stretch, then you can see that that's, uh, that's the case. So, initially, I'm going to bring up the STF stretch and the histogram. And we're going to hit the nuclear button to apply an STF stretch. And then the same as we do um, with uh, when applying just the S uh, STF stretch. To actually stretch an image, you once you've hit the nuclear button, pick up the new instance triangle and drop it on the grey area at the bottom of the histogram, and then pick up the triangle, the new instance triangle off the histogram, and drop it onto your image. The image has now gone white, so if I turn off the STF stretch that was originally applied, then that is now the image stretched. Uh, as indicated by the lack of the green stripe on the name tag over them. So I can now turn off these two. Don't need them anymore. Uh, that's the stretch applied. Now before I get on to the STF, uh, sorry, on to the um, generalized hyperbolic stretch, what I'm actually going to do first is remove the stars. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to do anything else to the stars. I don't want to enhance them any more than they already are um, on a stretch side of things. I can work on them separately uh, using curves just to enhance them or change their colour slightly. Um, but um, this is all I want to do. Now I should add with this particular image I used um, the... Um, L enhance filter so you'll see that once the uh, stars are removed then there'll be a few halos around some of the stars on this particular image. Uh, this is going to take a wee while um, this computer is running a wee bit slow at the moment so I'm just going to pause it here and then I'll come back uh, once the stars have been extracted. And there we are that's completed now so uh, that's the stars. For this video, I'm not going to do anything else to the stars. I'm just going to put them up out of the way and uh, leave them up there. Turn off Star Exterminator, and there we are. We're left with the uh, the background image, and there's some of the little uh, artifacts or halos that were left over from the uh, uh, from the filter that I was using. So now I'm going to open up. GHS and there's a couple of ways that you can do this you can either um, I, I, 
I use um, the one that's in processes um, but those you can also find it once you've um, put it onto your uh, into your Pix Insight it goes under utilities and it's a script under utilities down there so there's a couple of ways but um, right so I'm going to oh I'm on the wrong one helps if you there we go that's better so always make sure you select the image you're going to be working on and then your histogram looks a bit better I was wondering why the histogram wasn't looking very good on that one anyway so um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is just remove some of this green uh, on the background there um, I'm going to remove all of it so about 45% should do get that and just pull it out a little bit that'll do me now you can see just in the background here um, you might not be able to see it on YouTube but there's some nebulosity that's coming away from the question mark here um, so I'm going to start on enhancing that first so I'm just going to click on the, the lighter bit to get the symmetry point here send the symmetry point down to the bottom here and then just apply a little bit of stretch factor up to about 700 or just over and then um, the rest of it I'm going to pull up with the local intensity and if I turn on uh, the uh, preview you can see what's actually happening here so I started off just pulling that across and if it gets too bright I can pull down on the protect uh, highlights and likewise protect shadows will also move it up as well so I just add a little bit there just a little bit of an enhance and what I'm trying to do here is enhance these back these um, faint nebula here but not blow out the highlighted or the light parts of the nebula now remember we've still got the, the curves to go on this so this is only the stretch side of it but you can enhance quite a lot just with the stretch so we'll do it again um, we'll bring this little bit of nebulosity up here and use the symmetry point from that and again pull it out to about 820 and just stretch it along and then pull it back pull back the light and you can come all the way back down here if you want to it's entirely up to you how much you put in there but we are starting to get a little bit of uh, nebulosity showing here darken down the background a little bit there so if I want to darken it down a little bit more it's not too bad actually but uh, we're starting to see some more detail in here bear in mind this is quite a wide angle view uh, it was taken with 100 and, uh, 135 millimeter uh, Samyun uh, lens attached to the ASI uh, 294MC Pro camera so Add the symmetry point from there so this is one of the lighter ones and you'll see what happens here as I pull the stretch factor the histogram actually comes to the left from the uh, from the center and then as I go more so that's actually bringing the lights down if I want to protect the darks then I can pull it back up again And do it like that there we go reset everything and again I'm going to try and pull out some more of this um, fainter nebulosity send the symmetry point in 
one th one thing I can do actually, if is if you if you want to, you can uh, pick your symmetry point there, and then use this slider and just bring the symmetry point across, and you'll see the figures down here are actually changing. So if I clear it, I'll reset it, and it goes down to zero. If I pick it there, it'll go across, and then I can uh, drag that across there until I get to the symmetry point. It's, it's doing the same thing as pressing the send to symmetry point. Then I can pull this and enhance it. And then enhance some more. What I'm trying to do here is get this elongated right the way down here. But I don't want to go too much because I'm going to start blowing out the centers here. So with this, it's starting to get too light and I'm blowing out the center of the dot on the question mark. So I'm going to use the protect highlights and just pull it back. But it's, it's maintained this, the stretch on this nebulosity here. And you can see there's bits coming, starting to come up on the top here as well. So we will apply those reset and then I'm going to do a uh, do the similar thing again with this one down there apply symmetry point stretch oops a bit too much and back to about 500 and then stretch again and you can see how much that's brought that out quite a lot there so I'm going to pull this back in you can see that that's still keeping it there pulled quite a lot out there so I'm going to save that reset and I'll say I'm going to leave it at that so there we are and that's how you can use the generalized hyperbolic stretch to uh, just enhance what the STF stretch has already done. The STF stretch obviously is very quick uh, to produce something. And um, once you've done that, then you can just highlight sections that you want to want brought out more and darken down some other areas if you want to. Obviously, uh, there's a lot more to be done with this particular image now and uh, I could go on and do um, work with the curves and uh, HDR multi-scale multi, um, multi transformation just to bring out some of the other highlights and, and then do some denoise. I haven't done any noise, uh, noise reduction at all on this image yet so um, that's got to be done in the future but this is what uh, uh, this is where we are at the moment and just so that you can see what um, the final image was like, I've produced it down here. And I'll just bring that one out of the way. And that was the final image that I managed to um, bring out of uh, this particular um, stack. So I hope you found that interesting. I um, hope it's useful to you. I want to say thanks very much to everyone that's uh, commented on the video so far. It's much appreciated. And um, I hope to see you in the future. Clear skies.